welcome to Sanford Sports Weekly. I'm Kayla Schaefer, your host for today's inside look at what's happening here in Bulldog Country. It was a big weekend for Sanford basketball as they knocked off number one Chattanooga 92 to 85 in overtime. Playing in front of the largest home crowd in five seasons, the Dogs had four players in double digits, while Tim Williams dominated, receiving his fourth double-double in six games. Contributing to the win, true freshman Brandon Roberts came off the bench with 13 points. Tyler Hood had 14 points, eight rebounds, and Isaiah Williams scored 20 points and a team-high five assists. The Bulldogs will take a road trip to play App State on Thursday at 6 p.m. Central, and then Saturday at Elon with a 6 p.m. Central time tip-off as well. Women's basketball hosted its annual Play for K game on Saturday as they topped Western Carolina 54-49. Freshman Hannah Nichols led the team with 12 points and 6 rebounds. Christy Robinson had 11 points, while Kiki Fletcher came off the bench and led the team with a career-high 11 rebounds. The women play here in the Pete Hanna Center tonight as they host App State at 6 p.m. The indoor track team had some standouts this weekend as they hosted the Sanford Multi Invitational at the Birmingham Crossplex. On Friday, senior Ashley Cope won the women's pentathlon, placing in the top 10 of each of her events. The men also won gold in the distance medley. Saturday, Lauren D'Alessio won the mile race with a time of 4 minutes and 50 seconds. In the 800-meter race, Nathan Hendershot and Anna Laura Irvine both received first place honors. Hendershot recorded a time of 1 minute and 52 seconds, and Irvine ran a personal best 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Track will be back in action February 14th for the Cupid Classic at the Birmingham Crossplex. Softball is off to its best start since the 2009 season. The Bulldogs went 4-1 this weekend at the Mercer Invitational. On Saturday, Sanford opened their season with a 5-3 win over EKU, where junior pitcher Molly Hansen recorded her first win of the season. In the second game of the day, the Bulldogs welcomed in new conference foe Mercer with a 9-8 victory. Sophomore Kelly Brister led the way, going 3-4 for four at the plate with a two-run home run and a career-high four RBIs. On Sunday, Sanford's true freshman pitcher Gray Adams got her first run of the season as the Dogs beat Florida A&M 4-2. In the second game of the day, the Bulldogs downed FAMU for the second time with a score of 4-2 where senior Erica Dykes and junior Abby Adams both recorded solo home runs. Going into the championship game 4-0, the Bulldogs suffered their first loss of the season to Mercer 5-1. Sophomore Megan Dowdy stayed hot with her bat and is on a five-game hit streak and 4-4 four four in stolen bases. Stanford will not play this Wednesday against Austin Peay. The game has been rescheduled due to weather conditions, and the Dogs will play Wednesday, February 19th at 3 and 5 p.m. The Bulldogs will also be hosting the Sanford Invitational this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. The Bulldogs are open their season against Valparaiso starting on Friday in a three-game series. Sanford will go head-to-head -head with the Crusaders Friday at 6 p.m., Saturday at 2 p.m., and Sunday at 1 p.m. There's plenty of time for you to come out and enjoy opening weekend here at Sanford University. For women's golf, junior Bailey Gray earned a top 10 finish this past weekend against some of the top collegiate golfers in the nation. For more on the other sports going on in Bulldog Country, just go to our official online home of all 17 Bulldog teams at SanfordSports.com. Until next time, I'm Kayla Schaefer for Sanford Sports Weekly saying Go Dogs!